guys! So as you can see by the title, we're doing eight DIYs. Make sure to give this a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and turn the notification bell. Now let's get into the video. So you're going to want to print out a paper or a design that you like and trace your phone case and cut out the little camera hole and then put it in your phone case. <laughs> so yeah. Right now we're just showing you what you need and it was really fast so I'm going to tell you. You're going to need letters made out of paper or you can use stickers and just not take off the back or something like that. Um, you're going to need string and scissors and tape. So right now we are just sorting out our letters in the right order so we know how to string it on the string. Now we're putting letters on the string. What we did is we got the letters situated on the string how we want them, and then we put tape on the string and then stuck the letters to it so that the string and the letters are all taped together so that they stay on the string and they don't spin and go backwards. This takes a while to just tape all the letters onto the string, so it just be patient and it will look really good at the end and you can hang it how, wherever and however you'd like. We spelled G and B duo with ours, but you can spell whatever you'd like.
Okay, so right here, we're wrapping yarn around four fingers until it's a fluffy ball. It doesn't matter how big it is. It can be big or small. It's your preference. <laughs> As you can see, I did a small one and Brooke did a big one. And then you cut the string. And then you cut a, another little string and in between four fingers, between two and then there's two left over, you tie it around your pom-pom thing. And then you cut, wait, never mind. So you tie it around, like what I'm doing, you tie it around your fingers. And then you get the scissors and cut around where you tied the string. Sometimes when you cut both sides, strings will fall out if you didn't tie your knot tight, tight enough. Because that's what happened to me. And I had strings falling out and I ended up having to throw mine away. Gracie did hers good and Gracie was able to keep hers because hers stayed nice and tight. Once you get through both sides, which sometimes take a while, make sure you have sharp scissors because we kind of had dull ones and it was hard to cut through the string. And that's one of the reasons why string kept from falling out is because I'd have to pull to cut sometimes. Once you cut both sides, you can even them out and just cut the string so that it looks like a round pom-pom ball with no strings poking out. And then you are basically finished, and you can go show your mom and just go show it off to friends. So we are making ice cream. If you've ever made like ice cream in a bag and then you shake it with like ice, that's the same recipe. It's one cup of milk, two tablespoons of sugar, and then like, I can't remember how much vanilla it is, but it's some vanilla. And so we're just making it in a cup and we kind of like it liquidy. So we make it in a cup and then we put it in the freezer to freeze and then we eat it and it's like liquidy, icy. So it's not super ice cream. It's kind of like a slushy, but it tastes like the same ice cream. So this is us just adding all the measurements. And basically you can just watch the rest and you'll basically know what to do. Okay. <laughs> so right now we're just doing we're taping um, our jars, and as you can see, we're um, obviously doing stripe because that's how we're taping it. And it's really easy. We're using scotch blue tape, and you just tape it on the jar, and it sticks pretty good, except for when we painted, it got underneath the tape a lot, and it did not look very good, but we don't really care. And now we are painting our jars, and the paint didn't work very good because it was basically see-through, and we're just using acrylic paint, so, if you want to do that, that's what you, that's kind of the paint you use.
we had to do lots of layers too. So if you guys have to do lots of layers, then it's fine. Okay, now we're peeling off the tape. And make sure they're completely dry before you peel off the tape because it messed it up. And I would not suggest getting it wet after. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Brooke got hers wet and it did not work out very well. It's because I'm not very patient and so I didn't wait till it was dry. <laughs> yeah. But it's still a fun thing to do. And it takes up time. As you can see, the t like the paint didn't even show up. Look at mine. It did on Gra Gracie's, but not on mine. But yeah, it's fun and easy. Okay, so we're making the DIY jelly fruits. You get a cup. We're using our jars that we painted. We're, so you get a cup, you get whatever liquid you want. <laughs> and you get you fill it up as big as you want you can do it big or small I did a small one and Brick did a big one and you wrap it up like I did and then you get it super tight so it's easy to pop in your mouth and Brooke is Brooke is wrapping hers up now and I'm waiting for her and we're using apple juice. Capri Sun apple juice. <laughs> <laughs> and now Brooke's popping hers. And she choked. <laughs> <laughs> and then I popped mine and it came through my nose. <laughs> and it hurt. So right now we just got old t-shirts that have kind of a lot of fabric at the bottom that are the same color. Unless you want like a multicolored headband but we didn't so we just found old shirts that are the same color all the way through and so we just cut off like eight inches at the bottom but you can do like how as much as you want because we just kind of eyeballed it and our scissors sucked so it was so jagged and it took forever to cut through it but yeah and then once we were done cutting through it all because it took a long time we twisted it we didn't show this part but we got the shirt, like make it like so there's a hole in the middle. And then you twist it and put the sides together so it makes like a little knot at the top. And then you can try them on and they're pretty ugly headbands. So, yeah. These are actually kind of ugly. <laughs> this one's kind of a fail DIY. So, if it you want to do it, like go ahead. But um, it doesn't work. Really but on the right side, you got a cute, sort of cute crop. crop. <laughs> Ew, that's so ugly. <laughs> but that will lead us into our next DIY. So me and Brick just got a shirt that we didn't care about anymore and you estimate about or measure about eight inches and I cut the sleeves off because I personally don't like long sleeves and Brooks were already short so she didn't have to do anything to them and you just cut them <laughs> and I would suggest getting sharp fabrics and not crappy ones so yeah. So this is the finished product. It's a little jagged. Yeah, we're cut. not straight cutters, but it looked pretty good. I cut the sleeves off. Oh my gosh, look how the sides come up. Uh, <laughs> we look fat from the side angle. That's okay, well, <laughs> that is our crop tops. Hey <laughs> guys, make sure to go check out our next video. Like, subscribe, and turn on the notification <laughs> bell. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey guys! Thanks for watching.